aware. Stay woke. Um, Cause it's real and it can happen to you. If you're looking for a winner, love, looking for a dancer, looking for supreme, looking for a queen. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay. If you're new here, um, welcome back if you're an OG. Um, so today's video, I'm going to be addressing my um, kidnapped and sold. Well, it was it's titled, I was almost kidnapped and sold. Um, and it was a story time that I posted on my channel about almost seven, eight months ago. So I'm going to be addressing that video um, and giving you guys some tips and my personal advice moving forward. Um, so yeah, as we all know, Sex trafficking, human trafficking, and organ don do is it donating donoring? What did you how do you say that? Organ harvesting has become really really bad within these last few months. Like I've had people in my area, um, and I'm from Mississippi. There goes the alarm. I'm about to unplug it because yeah. Wait one second. Okay. Um. This is a, this is a disclaimer. Um. If you hear beeping noise, it is the fire alarm. It's me and it's not y'all. Um, Timberly, shut up! Please shut up! I'm trying to save lives here. Okay, if you hear beeping noise, I'm sorry. And if it bothers you, then just click off. Because I know stuff like that bothers me too when I'm watching other people's videos. But I genuinely can't do anything about it. Like my stepdad, he has to get up there and change it. Because I'm not going to get up there and change it. Like, I guess it means it's going dead or it needs new batteries. Um... And I bought new batteries for it because, like, uh, so many people commented on that on that video. Y'all were like, change the batteries. I'm going, I bought them. I'm just waiting for the batteries to be installed. You, you just heard. So, I'm sorry. If that bothers you, then just click off the video. I mean, you should. I don't think you should. I think you should just sit through it. But if it's bothering you, then, yeah, I'll be, it'll be ready in the next video. But, um, <clears throat> like I was saying, um, these things, human trafficking, sex trafficking, or um, organ harvesting, have been so bad lately. And mostly, as we all know, it's targeted towards younger women. Um, yeah, younger women, people of color for the um, organ harvesting. Now that y'all pointed it out, I can't do anything but hear it. It's like, I'm so sorry. It, it's, I promise, when I watch back my videos, I'm like, girl... Get you some new batteries. I feel like this video needs to be up and out now. And me sharing this information and this knowledge and what I've been through is more important than, you know, waiting to put new batteries in a smoke detector. Um, but okay, before I begin this video, I want to address some of the, um, some of the comments on my last video, some accusations and everything like that. The first one, um, is about clout chasing. Um, I, I read a comment on that video um, and she was like, the clout chase is, the clout chasing is real, shaking my head. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of y'all don't know me personally, but I'm not, I'm not the type to clout chase. I don't need to clout chase. Um, I, this, this is something serious. I could save lives out there. And I said, even if I just reach one person, I'd be all set, you know, I don't play with things like this and that's another thing y'all say i say um too much i'm in so, the hand clap somebody else said about the hand movements i'm gonna work on that i'm sorry but um i don't play around with stuff like that Th these this is really people's lives um i wouldn't take a picture of a person and post them on the internet saying that they're a potential predator just for clout i wouldn't ruin somebody's life like that um and that's just me personally i, I wouldn't do nobody like that um, so that's the first thing. And, and also, this video was filmed literally almost eight months ago. It wasn't, yeah, we were aware of sex trafficking and human trafficking and or organ harvesting and things like that where people were getting kidnapped, you know, every single day in broad daylight. But it was not as bad and as severe as it is now. Like, to the point where we can't even go places alone without being in fear. So, it's not clout chasing. If that's how you feel, then that's fine. Um, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I'm just letting y'all know that's not the type of person that I am. That's, um, I, w I don't play about stuff like that. There's many other ways for me to get clout on YouTube. I can, y'all see these fake pranks on YouTube that everybody's doing? I can go do that and get clout on videos. I don't need that. I don't do that. I keep it real. I keep it genuine on my channel. And if you're new here, that's something that you may not know. But I'm, I'm not, 
No, that's not me. All right, the other thing, I was going to talk about the fire alarm because so many people commented on it. But like I said, I'm waiting for my stepdad to come um, or my dad to come and change the batteries. I'm not going to get up there and climb and do it. I don't do that kind of stuff. So, yeah. All right. One of the major things that was brought to my attention on this video is that um, y'all were talking about me speaking to him in general. I'm from the South. I'm from specifically Mississippi. Um, I'm from the South, and that's just Southern hospitality. Um, I know when I go travel up north, people are more rude there. They they don't talk to you. They're more blatant. They don't. They're just you know they're they're rude. They're rude. Um, and that's just what it is. If you feel some type of way offended, I'm sorry. But down south, you know, people we really enjoy conversating with other people, talking to strangers, um, saying hello, holding doors for others, letting people in front when we're driving, and you know, that we, we see that them they're trying to get over. That's just how we are. Let me stop talking with my hands. That's just how we are. That's just the Southern hospitality thing. So, um, and if you haven't seen that video, I advise you go watch it because I'm not going to retell what happened. I'm going to be referring to some situations, but I'm not going to re um, retell the whole story. So, um, if you haven't seen it already, I'll try to add a card here or leave the, the link in the description box. It's just a Southern thing. I didn't, Southern thing. I didn't, um, when he first, I noticed, like I said, he was staring at me and he was on his phone when we were in the airport and then he randomly I, the chances y'all i swear on my on my grandmother's life the chances of him sitting next to me um was very slim to none compared to to every all the other seats and he was just specific he he i don't know i don't know i don't know how it works like i said this was my first time flying i didn't know that you could like flight attendant um change seats i didn't know how any of that worked so um, there were some things, some mistakes that I made that I'm going to be addressing in this video as well. Alerting the flight attendant. <clears throat> so, um, some of y'all mentioned that I could have alerted the flight attendant and that they have marshals on the airplane, undercover marshals on the airplane for situations like this. I did not know that. Um, so moving forward, that's a tip for you. If you ever feel like you're being followed or, um, victimized in a situ in a situation like this, then you can alert the flight attendant, um, and request for your seats to be changed and that's something that i wish i would have done instead of engaging in conversation and if you saw that video you know at first i was like um i gave him the basic information like my name where i'm going blah blah, blah stuff like that and then once it got to a point where i was like okay this is more than you just wanted to know um why i'm here you know this is about you're trying to do something else it's, it's more than what you are want me to believe it is so once he got to the more personal questions i began to feel uncomfortable and as you saw when you were watching the, if you watched my last in that video you saw that i said that he was texting other people um as soon as we landed he called and he said that he was going to the exact hotel that i told him i was staying in of course i didn't tell him the real hotel i was um staying in um but he called his friend and said hey i'm gonna slide by the um i forgot the name of the hotel anyway he said he was going to the exact same hotel um, and to meet him there and he wanted me to um he was like oh yeah you can just pick me up from here so it, he wanted me to feel like um he was um going to get picked up i didn't know if there were undercover people on the plane did you and also with that a lot of you guys asked why i didn't tell them um and here's my thing i have trust issues um if you whether you want to believe it or not and i don't know if i was supposed to say this but Higher ups are involved in things like this. There's 65,000, more than 65,000 people, young girls, black girls missing today. Just vanish. There, this is a billion dollar industry. This, the selling, selling human organs, selling humans for sex. This is a multi-million billion dollar industry. And if you don't think the higher ups ain't trying to get paid, you're wrong. You need to wake up. Wake up. And that's that's my thing. You never know. I've seen movies, and of course it is a movie, and I know that, but I've seen movies where well, higher ups, like po the local police or um, patrol, they're involved in situations like this where they know that um, they're basically running the business with them. So you try to run to the police, but guess what? It's a lose-lose situation because they're involved as well. And that's my thing. You know, with this, especially being in a town I've never been in before, a city that I've never been to, you never know who's involved and who's not. So, in my opinion, I just thought it was best to run. And that's what we did. I texted my dad a picture of the dude as soon as we land, uh, landed. And um, I told my friend to take a picture of him. Um, and I sent that picture out to some of my family members. Um, and I would advise you to do the same if you're ever in an uncomfortable situation. Just take a picture of your potential predator and send it around so that they'll at least know 
um, who to come for if something happens to you. And that was my first thought. I told her to take a picture. And then once we got off, um, I text her and I said, hey, he's trying to follow us. Let's run. And we ran. And it was nobody but God who got us through that situation. Because as we were running through the airport, um, if you've seen my video, he was following us. Um, he finally lost us when we got on our van, but it could have went the wrong way. It could have went another way, is what I'm trying to say. So you have to be mindful of that. Um, another thing. Somebody, and this is a tip that someone left on my video that I thought um, was unique. I wouldn't have thought of this. Um, it's to just say, basically, well, I've always known not to tell people that you're from out of town. Um, and that's my first mistake. Um, and I know that. You know, I know that. That was my first mistake. He was like, where are you going? Um, have you ever been there before? Blah, 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 blah. Um, and he actually recommended for me to go to a couple of places, which is... You know, we we, would, we all know how that would have turned out for, me, for us. Um, they said to tell them that you're traveling with your four brothers um, and that your husband is meeting you there. So just make sure he knows that some type of male figure, male figures are with you um, and that you're not alone. Um, and somebody even mentioned wearing a fake red, wedding ring is what they do when they're traveling. So that they'll say, hey, my, my husband's outside waiting for me. Or my husband's, he's on the other side of the store. He ready to get something real quick. He'll be back. Um, and that's something that I'm definitely definitely going to do. I'm going to purchase me um, a wedding band so that when I travel, I won't run into these problems. I mean, of course, they still may try. But it's better than, you know, them knowing that you're alone. Um, and somebody mentioned in the comments if he... he bought both tickets I, I mean both seats because as I said I was on the outside seat the middle seat was empty and then he was on the window seat um somebody and it gave me chills when they said that because I never thought of this like reading through my comments I it opened my eyes so if you haven't seen my latest video please 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 go watch it share it with your younger siblings or your younger family members whoever you feel may benefit from this video please go watch it and share it um and read through some of the comments because there were some helpful tips. That's where most of these tips came from, just from watching that video. If you want to stay woke, um, I suggest you go by and um, watch that video. Check out some of the comments. You don't have to read through all of them, just some. Um... Oh, about the seats. They asked did he buy both seats. That's something maybe if you're a, a, a um, what is it, avid? Is it avid is the word? Frequent flyer, you could probably answer that question um, for me. I don't know how that works, um, if you can buy both seats or if he bought his seat beforehand and it just so happened to have worked out that way. Um, I don't know. Um, and this kind of ties into the location thing. So let me share this with y'all. Um, if you are traveling, um, I would advise against posting on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, any of that, where you're going, when you're going, how you're getting there, who you're all traveling with. Um... Just because that can build a profile for them to prey upon you. Um, you know, just think about it. If you're putting out on social media to the world, you know, where you're going exactly, you know, where airport you're leaving from or things like that, then that's, that's easier for, for predators to find you. You can share your location with Snapchat so your friends around you can see. Please make sure that's off, y'all. Please, please, please make sure that's off. Um, because people... Um, if, and if you're older, you're watching this, I would advise you check your ch children's phones, um, especially Snapchat. Snapchat is a very, very popular social media platform. Just check their social, check their Snapchat and make sure that, they're, that, that their privacy setting is set to where they do not show their exact location. And as you can see, people are hacking phones, texting from other people's phones now, and that's just, that's just crazy. So... Be mindful of what your who your child is texting and um, things like that. Now, looking back, if, if you're ever in this situation, that Lord forbid, um, someone also pointed out to just return the questions or to just let him know that you're uncomfortable with the questions he's asking. I would personally just stick to what I was saying and just change seats or elect a flight attendant. Um, but like I said, with that, it's a lose lose. Um, you don't know who's involved nowadays. You may you may think it's too good to be true. Like, oh no, you know th they wouldn't do me like that. You don't know. People are crazy. People are evil. People are evil nowadays. I don't trust easily. So for me, it's um, I call nine one one and I run and I talk to y'all later. Letting that person know, hey, I'm uncomfortable with you asking me these questions. Could you please stop? Um, that will probably 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 be the best thing. Um, or returning the question. Like, if they ask you where you're staying, be like, why? Where are you staying? You know, things like that. Just turn on them and just avoid giving them your information. Um, now these tips are for 
not just the airport um because i can't give you a whole bunch of tips on that like y'all y'all gave me knowledge on this situation because like i said i've never that was my first time flying so these are just general tips um as i that i've accumulated over the past few days so number one being aware of your surroundings of course um when you're out and you're about stay off your phone i preach this to my little cousins all the time my little sister um all of my family members it's not a text if you get a message if you were like just check it later you know um your life is more important than being on instagram being on snapchat being on facebook being on twitter texting somebody back you know what i'm saying your life is more important than that when you are in public you never know if you're on your phone constantly walking around you don't know who's following you you don't know who's taking pictures of you sending it to the buyer trying to sell your whole body you don't know like people are evil please 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 just Please stay off your phone until you get in the car. That's that, that's my most important tip. Um, because I know y'all seen on Facebook or if you have any kind of social media, they'll post the pictures of um, the person who has been following them throughout the store. And um, that's very helpful because if you're in that local area, then you will, um, if you ever run across these people, you'll know exactly who they are. Please, guys, please, please, please stay off your phones. I'm doing it with my hands again. I'm sorry. Please stay off your phone when you're in public. Um, everything can wait until you get in the car because they can literally snatch you and no one will know anything. No one will see anything and you're gone just from being on your phone. And this kind of ties in with the staying off your phone is just taking pictures of who are, taking pictures of potential predators. Um, and this is a big thing for me because like I said, you want to leave a trace. Um, if something, Lord forbid, let's knock on wood, ever happens to you. I've already talked about not, mention, not mentioning you're from out of town. If you're looking, I'm looking at my notes that I wrote down here. Um, not mentioning you're from out of town. And that just kind of goes hand in hand with just looking unapproachable, basically. I mean, I, it's sad that it's come to this point where we can't look friendly and can't engage in conversations with strangers. It's sad that it's come to this point. But at this point, it's more about safety than enjoy and then enjoy enjoyment yeah looking unapproachable and not looking confused um because like i said you don't want them to know that you're not from around here you want them to think that you know exactly where you're going exactly how you're going to get there and everything so that they won't have any um reason to try to linger you anywhere or things like that just just look like you know what you're doing where you're going and if you can i i said i wanted to solo travel but um with how bad things have gotten now, I'm definitely not gonna do that. I would suggest traveling in groups and not alone, and especially not alone at nighttime. Um, so if you do have to go out of course for an emergency or something like that, you have to do what you have to do. Um, it's just stay vigilant. Um, stay vigilant. Make sure that you're not naive um, and you go there and you come back. Uh, going places, I would try to go um, with the groups, preferably men. Um, but if you don't have anyone to go with, let's say you need to run to Target for some medicine or Walmart, which are big places where people are being abducted um, in the middle of the night, they do have workers there who can escort you to your car. So um, especially if you see somebody following you or staring at you the whole time you're there, you need to, um, they even have police at most locations. Um, so you just need to get them to escort you to your car. Um, most of the time the cashier or they'll have some like the buggy man to um, come and you can say hey I'm feeling uncomfortable or hey I'm kind of afraid to walk to my car at night with everything that's going on could you please get someone to assist me to my car and I personally haven't had that issue because I don't go anywhere at nighttime but I would um, I would just get someone to go with me and then tip them for, for walking me to my car my next tip is to share locate share your location indefinitely if you have an iPhone um, if you go to your messages you can click on the I um, so let's say you're trying to share your, your location with your mom um, you just click on her name and your message, just click on the I, and then you can click share location indefinitely. And this allows for her to see your locations at all times. Um, when you move, she move. Just like that. When she move, you move. I, my sister shared her location with me. Um, and um, I'm sharing my location with my mom. So, um, yeah, if you have an iPhone, please share your location indefinitely with at least two people. So that, Lord forbid, if anything happens to you, um, they'll um, at least see where your last location was. Um, if you have an iPhone, I'm going to show you a trick really quick that will help you um, if you're ever in um, a scary situation like this. Let me see if I'm... 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 Let me see if I'm...
You um, on FaceTime. Um, who's this? Hey, Jeremiah, she's gonna call you back, okay? Okay, bye. So, um, <coughs> I've shown this to my little sister, my cousin, getting video, say hello. That's not a real tattoo, so. Real okay, so I've shown them like this. Um, if you have your iPhone, you just press your volume button and your side button at the same time. And then this will pop up. Can y'all see? Yeah. Um, it's basically an SOS. So once you slide that over, it it immediately drops your current lo pin location to the um, near cell towers. And they'll be able to pick up where you are. Um, so that's... If you have an iPhone, this is definitely what you need to do. If you, ha if you have an Android, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> um, going places alone, even with other people, younger people, um, it's always best to... Pop Park closest to the entrance door because most stores do have cameras and the closer you are to the entrance door the more likely that you'll be shown on the camera and that's also with parking beside vans um, and as we know white vans are um, the stereotypical type of cars who kidnap but I've also seen um, cars regular cars who have taken um, sorry I've also seen regular cars who have been taking uh, people as well so it's not just the white van, white vans. So be on the lookout for um, all of these things. Not just white vans. It can be cars, regular trucks, all of that. Not just the white vans. Just be careful who you park by. Uh, now also, this is an important tip that I want that you may have to get like an, someone else, like a guy probably, to show you how to do this. But if you look in your car, I think it's every car from, that have been made from the year 2012 to now have a latch in the trunk where you can pull it and it releases the trunk um i saw this girl get she was on surveillance severe how you say the word she was on the security camera she had just gotten abducted she was placed in the trunk um but she opened the trunk from the inside and using a she pulled the latch on the inside of the trunk and it opened and she ran it if you do not know where that is I would suggest maybe going to someone like a dealer. You can go to a dealership and they'll show you how to do it. Or you could ask any guy probably knows how to do it. I didn't know, so I had to ask someone. It's a latch. It glows in the dark most of the time. It gl glows in the dark, so you'll be able to just, just pull that, release the, um, release the trunk, and then run. And also, my tip... Lord forbid any of y'all are ever in this situation. Um, but the best thing to do was just to jump out while the car is driving. You don't want to pull the latch and jump out when the car stops. Because you don't know where you are when you stop. Um, just think about it. If you're taken in the parking lot, the car is just now speeding off. You know that you're still in that parking lot close by. You have a better chance of running. But if you're trying to wait till you get to a stoplight or a stop sign, you could be at your destination where they're selling you. You know? Um, you could be in the middle of, of nowhere, open road, you know, um, and then it's too late. So it's just whenever you have the chance, um, just get someone to show you where this latch is in the trunk so that you'll be educated about what to do. I already told you guys to take pictures of potential predators. Um, it's better safe than sorry. Even if you don't, even if they turn out not to be predators, you you still need, um, you still need to be vigilant and to make sure that you're safe. So just take pictures and send them to people. It won't hurt to just take a picture, send it to your mom, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your, you know, family members, anything like that. It's better, like I said, better safe than sorry. Um, and the most important tip is to just trust your gut. And what I mean by that is if you feel like someone is following you, chances are your gut isn't going to lie about something like that. You know how you can get that sense that someone is watching you? It'll almost be like that. Um, like I was when I was in the airport, I sensed him just staring at me, and I know he was texting someone, and that's just it, it made me feel uncomfortable, uneasy. So trust your good and get and evacuate the situation. Trust your good, y'all. It don't lie. Now I'm going to be talking about some of the strategies so that you'll be aware of what is going on in the world. The first thing, of course, I think we've all heard about this, is the Bible study group. There's a group of women who approach you and say, hey, we're having a Bible study. Can I get your name, your number, your contact information? Um, this is the place where we do Bible study. Can you come join us one night? And that's basically for them to trap and sell you. Don't do it. Please don't fall for it. The perfume on the nap napkin. I think it's chlorophyll that they use. 
um, where it's basically they tell you that they have some perfume that they would like for you to sample. Um, you sniff it and then you immediately pass out and you don't wake until you're sold. Um, so please don't sniff anything from strangers. I love candles and perfumes and smelling things, but um, now you can't catch me. I, I won't even, no. Just, I'm, I'm not doing any of that. So do not smell anything. Just don't talk to strangers. Get to where you're going and get away. Um, so yeah, the perfume and the napkin thing, that's more of a recent thing that I've heard about. So be on the lookout for that. Um, uh, you know, I've heard of people being, okay, now the next one is where people who pretend to be stranded on the side of the road. Y'all, if you have a bigger heart, I know it's going to be hard for you to walk past these people, but I feel like if you have kids especially, don't risk your kids. Don't don't put your kids in danger. Please, people. Please. Um, it's where people have pretended to be stranded on the side of the road. Or they'll actually take their tire off to make it seem like to make it look like, hey, you know, I had a flat tire, can you help me? Um and they'll put they'll even have kids with them on the side of the road to make you more empathetic. Is that the word? Yeah. So, um, and then they, you know, take your car. Uh, they could, you know, steal your car or just abduct you. So, yeah, um, if people are stranded and, you know, and you genuinely care, then you can just call 911 and be like, hey, I'm on so-and-so highway. There's a car that's stranded here with a child, and they look like they need help. Could you please send someone? That's the that's the smartest thing for you to do. Please don't stop and help strangers on the side of the road. And, I mean, it's sad that we can't help people, but it's, that's just the way the world is now, you know, knowing that everybody is so evil and so just this world is so, so, such an ugly place now. Um, knowing that it's just unsafe. I please y'all, please don't stop and help anyone. Um, and I've also seen that people put fake body bags or like it look, appear that someone dead is on the side of the road. Please don't fall for that either. Um, just don't stop. Don't stop don't stop also don't don't put yourself in posi positions to where and of course I know things happen on the road like you may run over a, t a nail or something like that but try your best not to run out of gas now this is my thing I run out of gas well I wouldn't say often but more than I'd like to in my whole well it's been about a year or so since I've run out of gas but I'm the type that'll test the waters. You know, if I'm on E, I'm going to see if I can go below E. You know, if I have, if it says I have 20 miles, I'm going to try to go 22 miles. That's just how I am because I really hate pumping gas. But don't do that. I've had to learn that it's um, that I have to fill up while I can and don't let myself get below E. Because if it's in the middle of the night and I need to stop and get gas, then guess what? I'm out of luck. Someone is going to, you may not get lucky, you know. I may not get lucky to where a nice person helps me. I may get to where you know they are the traffickers like the people who are stealing human bodies pick me up off the side of the road and then guess what peace out to me also i know y'all have seen the post about the zip tie on the car they usually put it on your side mirror um or your door handle they'll put like a zip tie and when you try to get it off they'll come up beside behind you and you know snatch you that way They'll put the chlorophyll on your mouth and they'll knock you out and try to kidnap you. Also the same way with the flyers. They will put something on your windshield to try to distract you and so that when you get ready to go to take it off, you're already gotten. So my tip is just to make sure you're at a safe location, leave it there. What is a piece of paper on the windshield going to do to you? Nothing. What is a zip tie on your handle going to do for you? Nothing, it's not going to hurt anything. Ride with it, with it like that until you get to your home. To, Ride with it like that until you get to a safe location. Please, ride like that till you get home. Um, it's not going to hurt you, you know. Be safe. So, yeah, guys, that pretty much, wrap, pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you find, found it to be extremely helpful. Um, I, put as, I gave you guys as much tips and advice, and I addressed a few com comments. And So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, please be safe, y'all. Um, we're living in, in times where, you know, we can't even talk to strangers without getting kidnapped, you know, where they're taking our children. Please watch your children, y'all. I don't have kids, but I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do if someone I loved was taken away from me. Um, 
man, they are taking these beautiful kids. Some people are killing them. You know, they're selling these kids. They're, please y'all, please watch your kids. Be aware, stay woke, um, cause it's real and it can happen to you. Dude, I know a lot of times people are like, no, that would never happen to me. It's happening right by you, um, right in your town, right in, in the town over next to you, it's happening. Please wake up y'all, please. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching my videos. And if you're a new subscriber, I thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I hope you guys like it here. Um, leave your comments. I know I'm going to fix that fire alarm y'all. I pinky promise. Pinky promise. I'm going to fix it. I promise. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so much for subscribing to me, sharing my video, commenting sweet things. I can't, I try to respond to all the comments, every last single comment. I stayed up two hours trying to respond to comments one night. Um, because that's just kind of the kind of person I am. I feel like if you spend your time commenting something to me, I, I need to comment back. So, um, yeah, I thank y'all so much. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next one.